on what kind of deal you're doing. Are, is, this a, is this a flip? Are you going to flip this property? Why, why, why not lock it up and sell it to somebody that already has the 25% until you have the 25% to be able to do these deals yourself? Right. Um, yeah, Jeffrey, you could potentially work with a private money lender. Mm -hmm. um, again, you would, you would really need to have a compelling deal for a private money lender to want to come in and give you the 25%. Because understand, Jeff, you don't have any skin in the game, and that just makes it a little bit more risky for somebody to come into the table to, to give you money. Now, um, risk diminishes severely, uh, significantly with experience. Mm -hmm. So for instance, Pace Morby comes to me and says, hey, I want a private money loan so I can get into a deal. Is he gonna get a private money loan from me so he can be into a deal for no money? Yeah, why? He's experienced. Uh, and that's for many experienced investors. I have the same approach. So I don't know, Jeff, if you have experience or not, but if you are experienced and you know how you can approach this deal and you've got a good plan of action, there's a good chance you can raise the 25% from a private money lender. Otherwise, it's gonna be your your job to figure out how to get that money. And a lot of people who uh, first get started in real estate and need to get the 25% down that you're looking for to buy a deal, make that money through wholesale. Jeffrey, imagine if you had, you could show um, somebody that you're raising private funds from the last 10 discounted deals that you found and that you wholesale. Even if you make a thousand, even if you make five thousand, even if you make eight thousand, whatever it is, but that you show a track record that you can find discounted properties, it's that's a much that's way more powerful to raise funds because one, you have the experience, and two, you know how to value these right. properties. Right. The issue that you run into with raising funds oftentimes is um, you don't know if it's deal or not a deal. Yeah, and, and you know, more often if I'm in a private money position when I am approached, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the reason why I'll say no is because is they've approached me wanting to raise money for something that's not a deal. Yeah. And then, you know, that's when I, that's when I question their experience. That's when I question whether or not they, you know, A, a care about my money. Um, because an investor, when you give an investor money, the, the one thing they want you to care about is their money as much as they do, right? And so what are you bringing to the table to make sure that I'm being protected?